Hello, this is Marco from Weezy.io and in today's video tutorial, I'll be walking you through the basic features of Gmerge Plus. This is an add-on that helps you create personalized documents as well as send bulk emails based off of Google Docs or Google Sheets template. Make sure that Gmerge Plus has been successfully installed as an add-on by heading over to the G Suite Marketplace and search for Gmerge Plus, then click on Install. Log in by selecting the correct Gmail or G Suite account and grant the necessary permissions for the add-on to be properly installed. Perfect, so we're now ready to start the add-on on a blank spreadsheet. Head over to the add-ons menu, look for Gmerge Plus, then click on Start. A welcome screen would open and in this case we'll be using a demo sample so we have a set of data to work with. Gmerge Plus has both document and mail merge features. Now you can use the add-on solely for creating document merges, solely for creating mail merges, or both. For the purpose of this demo, we'll be activating both so you would be familiar with the add-on's capabilities. Let's first work on the document merge section. Now, all the merged documents are saved on the root folder of your Google Drive. Next up would be document titles. So this could be a column on your spreadsheet. And uh, for this uh, example, uh, there's a specific column header named document title. Next up, under the shared to field, you can actually set an email address to automatically share the merged document. These are of course fully customizable by selecting different columns on the drop-down menu beside document titles and shared to fields. Now the add-on can actually provide automatic columns by clicking on this slider button here. Note that the header columns here are highlighted in blue. Now if you want to fully customize uh, the document title and uh, shared to fields, it's recommended to turn this slider button off. Alright, now we're ready to specify a document template for Gmerge Plus. Simply click on the select slash edit link beside document template. To open the document template menu where we could copy and paste the document URL or Google Sheet URL and then click on set template. Here's a sample document template and notice that the full name and date as well as training 1 and training 2 are introduced with double curly brackets. Uh, these are the tags that's used by the add-on during the document merge. And going back to the add-on, there's a tags mappings tab on the sidebar and clicking on it would show you all the tags that Gmerge Plus was able to detect on your template. Let's make sure that all the tags have a green check beside it. For this example marked with a red X, we'll need to cross-check the column headers and make sure that they match all the details on the Tags Mappings tab. Also, make sure that you have unique column headers. So in this case, we have a duplicate data to column. There are two approaches. Uh, one would be to remove the duplicate column or change the header name to make it unique. In this case, we'll be deleting it. And then once that is done, click on the Refresh Tags button on the sidebar. Notice that all the tags would now have a green check mark beside it. And that's the signal that we're all good. That takes care of the Document Merge section. Now let's scroll down and customize the Mail Merge section. You can set an email template here and uh, set a different name under email sender. For email subject uh, and uh, recipients, you specify columns on your spreadsheet where the add-on can get this information. So in this case, um, we have the email subject column here as well as the shared to and recipient email addresses. 
we're now ready to set an email template just click on select slash create so that we could select from a list or create a brand new template for the purpose of this demo we'll be creating one from scratch so um, click on create new template we'll set gm plus demo as the name of our template we can now set the body of the template now there's a drop down menu uh, named available tags it's important that you select uh, the tags from this drop down menu to make sure that the add-on copies over the correct information during the mail merge click on save and select and we're all set Going back to the add-on, we are now going to specify uh, a sender name. So in this case, we'll be sending it to my name. And then don't forget to press the enter key on your keyboard to save the information. Since we're using both document and mail merge features of Gmerge Plus, um, we can actually accommodate sending the merged document as a PDF attachment. You can do that by clicking on this checkbox. We are now set to run a campaign. Now, let me just show you the technical columns that Gmerge Plus adds on your sheet. Now, in this case, we have Gmerge status, email tracking status, and document URL. Now, I would like to highlight the filter feature of Gmerge Plus. So as you can see, we have several training two information here. So I'll show you how to run a merge so that only rows bearing Gmerge Plus would be processed by the add-on. You can set filters by clicking on the gear icon on the Gmerge Plus sidebar. Now by default, uh, Gmerge Plus has this specific filter. Um, Gmerge status column does not contain done. But this means that only rows that hasn't been marked done by previous campaign runs would be processed by the add-on. To add a filter, first we'll select the criteria column, in this case training 2, and then uh, next select the operator, um, equal to in this case, but uh, you have the option to select um, other choices. Now when selecting equal to, it's important that the row content or the filter criteria would match exactly as it appears on the sheet. Once that is set, click on Add to add the filter and click on Save to save the settings. To run a campaign, simply click on the Generate button on the sidebar. You can set it to run on a later schedule, on a custom date, or on Form Submit. This works if you are collecting Google Form responses on your Google Sheet. For the purpose of this demo, we'll click on Now so that we can generate and run a campaign. At the end of the process, you'll get a summary report and um, in this case, we will see that one row was done since uh, there's only one row that met the filter that we previously set. Next, let's take a look at the sample email or the mail merge uh, that was sent out after this campaign run. And here it is. So it promptly shows uh, the sender name that we've set on the add-on as well as the body of the template that we've created and then uh, you can also see the PDF uh, file that's attached on this document. And that concludes our brief walkthrough of Gmerge Plus. Thank you for joining me today. Please stay tuned for future video tutorials for Gmerge Plus. Until next time, goodbye.